Hello everybody, Ark over here, getting back some more Let's Play Trails to Azure. Alright, so... I'm gonna go to Armor Village. We're gonna... We're gonna handle that one first. Go hang out with the Chief. <sighs> that Derek, what in the world is he doing? I'm worried. It's quite possible that he's... Good day, Chief Tolta. We're the special support section. Huh? Harold? Oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. You saw my request, didn't you? Thank you for coming. Sure. But why is Harold here? As a matter of fact, he has a connection to this incident. I was speaking with Chief Tolta, and we decided to consult with all of you. The circumstances being what they are anyway, we thought it was a good idea to enlist the help of the investi investigation professionals. The situation seems very serious. It seems to be something concerning your son. Mm, it's a bit complicated. If you'll accept, I'd be happy to give you the details. Is now a good time? Sure. Yes, no problem. Please tell us what's going on. Ah, uh, I'm in your debt. My son Derek has been acting strange lately. It seems like he's doing something bad in secret. Bad? I don't know the details, but I can guess what he's thinking. The other day, he told Harold he wanted to pass on all future transactions or something. Stop trading? Why that all of a sudden? It's true, you're on good terms with Armorica, Harold. Yes, I've treated the people here with kindness for many years. And so, thinking I had made some mistake, I came here to ask Chief Tolta the reason why. Seems like Chief Tolta has no idea either, from the sound of it. Isn't that right? Yes, a grave rudeness has been done to Harold. Losing, good cu losing a good customer such as himself would be a huge blow for the village. I'm sure my foolish son isn't aware of that. That certainly is strange. I wonder what happened to him. Yes, I thought so too. That's why I was discussing the matter with Harold. And a certain suspicious character came to mind. It seems he's been meeting with a rather suspicious foreigner recently. A foreigner, you say? I don't know too many details, but it's just... It seems he's been discussing something with Derek in secret. Hmm, secret discussions, you say? That does sound suspicious. And so, I'd like you guys to investigate that foreigner in detail for me. And if he is planning some evil scheme to put a stop to it immediately. Excuse me for asking, but is such an incident worth issuing a request for? It would be logical to speak to your son directly. Whoa, calm down there, Teotot. Well, I hate to admit it, but the young lady over there is right. You see, for a long time now, my son and I have repeatedly clashed over how to run this village. If I asked him about this matter, in the end, nothing would be answered. As his father, it pains me to say this. I see. I understand. We'll begin our investigation right away. I was thinking of starting with interviews with the villagers. Yes, please go ahead. Actually, Derek is with Elkin right now, delivering produce in the city. It might be best to save your interview with him for last. Everyone, please see if you can find some information on him. Yes, please leave it to me. Alright, so we're going to start investigating that suspicious character. Investigating here. Um, I'd like to ask you a little something. Ask about the foreigner who's been visiting the village recently. Oh, the guy who's been staying at our staying staying at our place off and on lately. Yeah, yeah, he was very polite and pleasant. Polite, you say? That's right. Do you happen to know his name? Um, Mineth, I think it was. At least that's how he signed his name in our guest register. Mineth, huh? Well, at least we have his name now. And do you know anything about this Mineth? Well, he didn't really talk much. I can't really tell you anything. Although, he called Derek to his room and they talked. This happened several times. That's all I can tell you. Those must be the secret discussions with the Chief's son. Yeah, anyway, we've got some good info. Thank you very much for your cooperation. No problem. It was my pleasure. Let me know if you want to order anything while you're here. I do not. I've been seeing a well-dressed man often lately in the village. <laughs> that guy said to my grandpa, That's an able grandson you have, and grandpa was delighted. As expected, that's flattery. I would like to ask you a little something. Asked about the foreigner who's been visiting the, visiting the village recently. 
Oh, him? He's got quite the discerning eye. What do you mean by that? It seems that he's taking quite a liking to our honey. I'll spread this across the entire continent for sure. That's what he said. Spread, was it? From the way he said it, I guess he's some kind of merchant. Hmm, I didn't ask him the details, but it seems that he is. With such a discerning eye, he surely made a name for himself. I want my grandkids to follow his example. I see. Anyway, he seemed like a skilled merchant, huh? I see. That helps. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Sure, come again anytime. Um, I'd like to ask you a little something. Oh, him? Hmm, he speaks forcefully, but it's quite considerate. Considerate, you say? Yeah, one time our kids were playing and he passed by and got his clothes dirty. He paid it no mind and gave them the sweets instead. Man, I'm not sure if I feel guilty or if I admire him. It just takes my breath away. I say thank you for your cooperation. Alright, that's everybody here. God dang, how does my mouse always get put up there? We talked to everyone and got some good info. His name was Minute and he appeared to be some kind of merchant. Unexpectedly, he's good natured. Polite, kind to children, that sort of thing. Ha, huh, he doesn't seem all that suspicious at this point. Right. At present, his objective is unknown. I really want to know what he talked with the chief's son about. Yeah, I think it's best to continue these interviews. Um, him. It's possible he's the one Derek went to the city with. Looks like he just got back. Let's have a little chat with him. Let's club him. Oh, ah, ah, I can push on this dock over here. to ask you a little something. What's up? Maybe you wanted to ask me about this new orbital truck? No, that's not it. Oh, no? I got a chief for Minith, and it's Vernco's latest model. Huh? You mean Minith, the foreigner who's been coming to the village recently? Cheap, you said? How much was it? Haha, <laughs> it was a mirror. 50,000 mira. 50,000 mira? Buying a new truck for such a low price? I'm jealous. Whoa there, this is no time to be jealous. I suppose you're right. Sorry. Ahem. Anyway, setting aside the fact that it's new, it should cost around 500,000 mira. That's exceptionally cheap. So 90% off. That's exceptionally generous of him. Our work has been going smoothly. I guess that's why. It looks like his plan with Derek is progressing in many ways. <laughs> I'm no match for Minith. Plan? Whoops, Derek forbade me to speak of it. Well, anyway, I think Minith is trustworthy. I see. Huh, come to think of it, you're alone? Chief said you headed to the city with Derek. Yeah, Derek said he'd be coming back later by bus. It seemed like he had business at the Entertainment District Hotel. I think he had an appointment to meet with Minith. Hey Lloyd, this is... Yeah, we might be able to ask Minith directly. It's worth checking out. Thanks for your cooperation, that was helpful. You're very welcome. I don't really get it, but good luck. Alright, Hotel Millennium. I take a guess they're up in the, the fancy suites. Alright, see you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to working with you. Oh, you guys are... Excuse us, you're Derek of Armorica, right? Yeah, that's right. Can I help you with anything? I should have said this earlier, but we're with Crossbell Special Foods... Oh my gosh! I should have said this earlier, but... We're the Crossbell Police Special Support Section. Can we ask you a few questions? I see. You're here because of my old man, aren't you? He even called the police? Wow, that's rich. Um, you see? I know the story in general already. He's trying to investigate my recent actions, right? It's nothing particularly shady. Go ahead, ask me anything. An unexpected reaction. 
Then I guess I'll get straight to the point. It seems that you've been hanging around Minith for the past few days. What for exactly? Well, whatever. It's not like my old man can do anything about it now. Minith helped me out with a certain something a while back, regarding improving the village. Improving the village? You keep something important like that from the chief of the scene anyway? I'd say that's not a good one. I'd say that's not good no matter the situation. I've talked to the chief about it many times. But all he said was, you've lost sight of your ideals, and sudden changes aren't good, stuff like that. But even if you maintain things the way they are, I don't think a rural village like ours is the future. For the continued existence of the village, reform is necessary. My old man doesn't understand that. I see, so that's why you've been meeting with Minith. Unlike my dad, he actually gave me some good ideas. He helped me discover a huge possibility for our Amorica beekeeper. Before long, I planned to start a grand enterprise with him. Man, this conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> well, that's all I can tell you. That should be fine, right? I've got to be getting back to the village. Ah, uh, there he went. Anyway, since we're here, why don't we try meeting directly with Minif? I see, we might figure something out. Alright then, let's make our way inside, shall we? Alright, here we go. Oh, did you forget something? I don't remember ordering any room service. You are Minif, correct? I know it's sudden, but we're the Crossbell Special Support Section. We have some questions for you. Oh, you're from the police? In that case, please come in. The door's unlocked. I think he's slightly faking cordiality for some reason. He might be more skilled than we thought. Um, excuse us then. Please to make your acquaintance. I am Minath, but what business might you have today? Like we said earlier, we just want to ask you a few questions. Will you cooperate? Of course, I'll do anything within my power to assist you. Did some incident occur around here? That's not it. What we want to ask is concerning you personally. We want to know what kind of person you are and what you're planning on doing in our world. Just some general questions. Oh. Well, fine. Then I suppose it can't be helped. Ahem. I am employed at a certain company. On this trip, I am focusing on product and business development. And my visits to Armorica for, are for an important deal for my Quincy company. What? You mean that Quincy company? First I've heard of him. You know them, L? Um, the Quincy Company is a famous candy maker abroad. They're one of the biggest confectioners. You can get their imported products across the Lehman now. I think I remember buying their chocolate often when I was a kid. I wasn't aware of who made them. <laughs> I guess it can't be helped then. I myself dislike sweets. I've never been interested in them. We've developed our business for many years to arrive at this point. Whoops, it seems like we, di we have digressed. Uh, no, we're sorry too. Ahem, what about the deal in Armorica you mentioned earlier? That deal, does it have anything to do with the Chief's son, Derek? We heard it was connected with the development of the village. Oh, so you already know that, do you? Well, Derek already broke the information to silence himself, so I suppose we're just it. <laughs> we built up a good working relationship, as we thought. Can you give us the details? <laughs> sure, why not? We at the Quincy Company work hard every day for the future of our confectionery business. To that end, I have been given a certain mission from our main office. Namely, to establish a foothold for expanding our business into Crossbow. In other words, you're establishing a Quincy Company subsidiary in Crossbow. Haha, <laughs> exactly. In the beginning, I thought the department store in the city might be best, but that was when I found it. The terribly high quality, that terribly high quality honey that is made in Armorica. Honey, made from the lotus flowers in Armorica. Harold is always saying good things about its quality. Honey brought forth from the abundant natural bounty of the lotus fields passed down through the generations. Once I saw it, a plan to develop a new confectionery brand was revealed to me as if from the goddess herself. And I call this plan the Armorica Honey Company. The Armorica Honey Company? That has a nice ring to it. In other words, we'll sell candy based on Armorica's abundant honey. But in order to do that, we'll need the cooperation of the Armorica Village residents as well. That's why I approached Derek, the next chief of this idea. I asked him if he'd like to manage factory construction in the new business. Derek would manage the subsidiary of Quincy Company? Of course, my company would use our know-how in marketing, and the Lotus Field would be, overseen by, would be overseen by our staff. On the condition that we don't cause trouble and life for the villagers is made easier. But a factory, where would you build it? We're still discussing it, but I was thinking the village is private property. It's only ever been used as a storage area, so I think we'll be able to secure it. Those conditions, I can see why Derek's on board. After all, Derek was specifically looking to improve the village. It doesn't seem like a bad deal for either you or Derek. <laughs> exactly. To be honest, I felt Derek's genius and strong sense of responsibility warranted such a position. That's everything. 
Uh, that's all I have to say. Everything makes sense? Thank you for telling us. I think that clears up quite a few things. Do you have anything more to discuss? No, sorry to take up your time. If you'll excuse us. No problem. Come again anytime. Take care. Seems like an okay guy. Uh, how to put this? <laughs> what he told us was pretty amazing. That minute, he's more skilled than we thought. Regarding his plan, it seems like a lot of work, but it seems profitable too. I mean, damn. Well, with this, I think we have the whole story. Yeah, let's return to our Morica. We need to report this to Chief Fulba. I don't believe it. That minute is Quincy Company's dad? And there's a bit about the Armorica Honey Company, too? A factor on your private property. It seems quite the large-scale plan is unfolding. I think Derek could do something like that. Um, by the way, where is Derek now? Oh, that's right. We didn't see him. We ran into him at the hotel. He said he was headed back to the village. Hmm, Derek isn't home all that often these days, to tell you the truth. It seems he's been renting a room at Astri Inn lately. Myth has been visiting the inn, too. It seems he must be on the move. I have no idea about this plan to build a factory on a private property. How shameful of me. Hmm, I wonder about that. Unexpectedly, he could have acted on that traitor's suggestion, right? So that would be hard for you to learn of the chief. What do you mean? Well, I'll let our leader explain. Hey, well, fine. Boy, are you concerned about something? This is just my intuition, but there are some suspicious points about Minith. What? The plan he told us about benefits all parties involved. Our Marika would gain jobs, and Quincy Company would gain a subsidiary to further their business. His argument seems persuasive on the surface, but everything is a little too perfect, don't you think so? Now that you mention it, on top of that, he sold the new Orwell truck for cheap. I think we can think of that as an advanced investment. I don't think anyone would dispute the new Orwell cars are expensive. It's unprecedented to part with one for a mere 50,000 Mira. Conversely, it means he's certain to make that money back. That is strange. For a company as large as Quincy, such a cost is nothing if it's for advancing a project. Hmm, that might be it. Anyway, it's rather suspicious. Minith has some other objective, possibly one guaranteed to make him a profit. We have no evidence, though. We should keep that in mind. Yes, we'll be very careful. That was some great work, Special Support Section. Thanks to you, I feel the situation is under control. I thank you. Ah, uh, well, that's fine, but are you sure you're okay? If not, we'll continue investigating. No, you've done enough for now. <laughs> From the start, I can never go along with a plan to build a factory on our village's private property. Later, I'll speak with Derek as the chief and try to persuade him. I pray for your success. Then we'll excuse ourselves. Please contact us again anytime. Sure, you can look forward to it. Alright. Uh, where to now, folks? Station Square. Ah, yes. Ah, you guys! Thank goodness you saw the request in came for it, right? Good day to you, Mr. Raymond. Oh, are you alone? I don't see Inspector Donovan. Yes, yeah, something happened, and... Can I briefly explain the situation? Please do. Based on the request, it seems you're chasing that fake brand trader again. Yes, that's right. Because of legal reforms enacted by the new mayor, it was decided to carry out enforcement against the fake brand traders. Even the second division has strengthened, has strengthened its enforcement efforts. While doing so, that fake brand trader entered Crossville. Thanks to persistent stakeouts, we finally succeeded in locating their exchange site. The fake brand trader, um, she was some pastor who came via Tanker Gate, right? By the way, in the end, what kind of person was she? Alright, you gave us a hat, guy, the passengers. Let's see, that person was. sarcastic, very loud, quick footed like a sprinter. Summarize, one hell of a person, I guess. Right. <laughs> she seems interesting, so I definitely like to meet her. Well, in any case, were you amazing? To be able to catch that old lady. Yes, well, everything was fine up until that point. But after that, in the end, she managed to run away. And at a frightening speed, I might add. That old lady never learns. And so the fake brand trader is in this station, correct? Yeah, exactly. I knew you were quick-witted. It appears she plans to flee to the Empire. Haha, <laughs> I guess she's thinking that she's lost the police completely. <sighs> When I looked at platform number two, she seemed to be calmly waiting for the train. There's still time until the Empire-bound train arrives. It'll be the perfect chance to catch her. 
but if everything is all set, we hardly have anything to do, right? About that. Since Inspector Donovan is busy, I was entrusted with this case. However, I just don't have the confidence I'll be able to catch that fake brand trader alone. Setting aside whether you're confident or not, it's a fact that you're shorthanded. And in this big train station, if you don't surround her properly, it's very possible she'll escape. I know, right? That's why I asked for your support. I'd like to ask you to act in a support role and to rest the fake brand trader with me. And to stand guard and make sure the fake brand trader doesn't leave the station. I was thinking you all have already caught the fake brand trader once. Well, will you help me out? Sure thing. I see. Understood. I'd love to help. Oh, thank you. I'm in your debt. Then, first of all, let's decide the group that will arrest the fake brand trader with me. Who's going to come with me? Let's see. How should we divide? Being a detective, I think you should accompany him, Lloyd. I'd be slightly worried if it was just Mr. Raymond. No way! It was what I want to say, but that's oh, way more reliable way for sure. Um, so we've got two detectives for the time being. Let's have one more person support us, and the remaining four will secure the station. Then who are you taking with you? Wazi seems like he'd be quick on his feet. Wazi, you're with me. As you command, leader. Everyone else, survey the station entrances and exits. Because it's that old lady we're talking about, anything could happen. Be ready for anything. Can't seem to spot them. They might have boarded the train already. Let's hurry. Inspection of the Republic Bound. Inspection of the Republic Bound will be concluded shortly. We ask that you please remain outside the train for a little while longer. The Republic Bound train is going to depart soon. Well then, I wonder where the fake brand trader is. When I popped in before, I'm sure she was around there. I guess she's the one? Oh, a fellow trader, I see. And how was business in Crossbow? <laughs> it's really good, too bad. There was some interference due to a business rivalry. That's unfortunate. Honestly, guys like them are a disgrace to us traders. No, I think it was also my lack of power on my part. That's why I'm thinking of making a fresh start and heading for the Empire. <laughs> That's an admirable business spirit you have there. Even us being like this might be some kind of fate. If you like, I can introduce you to some good connections with the Empire. Oh my, really? Oh, thank you. I think I'll pick you up on your offer. Actually, you won't. Huh? Crossbell Police, Special Support Section. Madam, long time no see. You are! I see, this madam is the rumored fake brand trader, eh? You thought you completely lost us, eh? Haha, <laughs> you won't get away this time. Wait, what the heck is going on here? Fake brand? What are you talking about? Uh, uh, based on changes to the state law, we're taking you in on suspicion of illegal trading. We've got the station surrounded. There will be no escape this time. You're still not thinking of escaping, are you? This isn't a joke, you damn shitty brats! Hey! What? Cornering me in a place like this so I can't escape? Not once, but twice even! How dare you arrest me! You're always sneaking around like this. That's why I hate you, police! Well, sneaking, you say, wasn't taking... Well, sneaking, you say, wasn't taking refuge into the station of your own mistake? Silence! <laughs> whatever, I don't care if I'm surrounded or whatever. If you want to catch me, then just go ahead and try! No matter how many times I see it, she makes quite the impact. It's not the time he's facing out, right? Right! Yeah, let's chase after her. Exits and entrances are all secure. We just need to catch her. What? <laughs> Those damn shitty brats. They're ambushing me in the station premises. I, I have to find a way out. Thank you for waiting. The Republic bound train will be departing momentarily. Since it's dangerous, please refrain from rushing to get on board. This is it. That's... What? Did, did she just... She's quite good. Right at the very end. Ah, what am I going to say to Inspector Donovan? Let's go, Wazzy. <laughs> you too don't want to lose, eh? Huh? Don't tell me. What? Are you kidding me? You're not going to chase her, are you? If we're going to arrest her, we have no choice. There's no time. We're going on ahead. 
what to do. I can't just leave it to the support section. Ah! Detective Raymond, are you okay? It would have been alright if you left everything to us. No, basically this is a case given to an inspector to handle. I can't let you guys have all the fun. <laughs> That's That one's got spirit, she does. Well then, where did your madam go? She probably used this from the roof to get in the car and went inside. We should be able to corner her if we clear cars one by one, starting with the caboose. Let's go, Mr. Raymond. Yeah, we'll catch her for sure. Hey, that old woman, she came in from the roof, right? Yeah, what in the world is she? Shut up! This isn't a show! <laughs> Scary. There she is! What? Such persistence! You guys don't know when to quit! You're one to talk. Oh man, look who's talking, madam. I think... I think going along is in your best interest, though. Right, that's right, give up! Ha! What do you think you're saying? <coughs> Listen, remember this! As long as this continent exists, there's nowhere I can't escape from. Damn it, she's not making any sense. Anyway, after everyone. Wait! Trains apart, looks like we can finally take a breather. Yeah, with this, it's goodbye to Crossbell. I honestly feel bad towards our comrades who were caught by Hayway, but... What, it just means our preparations were insufficient this time. One day we'll punish those guys for sure. Oh, it seems like you're having quite the conversation, eh? Uh, uh, you're... Hayway? Crap, you followed us? Master Cow would never let you go, you know. Gentlemen of the Anti-Immigration League, you're coming with us. We'll transfer to a crossbound train when we reach Altair City. We're finished. Move aside, you brats! Huh? Ugh! Ugh! Ah, ah, damn blockheads, didn't I tell you to move? This is no time to be standing still. Um, what's with this lady? Hmm, could it be that you guys are being chased by these guys? Yeah, honestly, we're saved. You're our savior. I don't get it, but to oppose those guys, I need as many allies as possible. Guys, if you feel like you're in my debt, even just a little, then come with me. If it goes well, you might be able to get away too. Huh? Really? Come on, don't dawdle. Right. Wait! Gah. What the heck happened? <sighs> Looks like she climbed on the roof again. By the way, it looked like someone was following her. Did she have hidden allies? That's impossible. All of her underlings should have been arrested a long time ago, right? We can't just let them go, right? Let's chase after them. You're right. Alright, let's resume the pursuit. Wah! What? The Republican terrorists are targeted the trade conference. You guys look like Crossbell Police. I don't know what's going on, but you're not gonna arrest us. You're dead meat if you chase us any further. Hmm, there's no mistake. I guess you're that madam's trump card. Anyway, we can't give in to this level of threat. We're taking you down. All of you. Eh, wait! <laughs> give it to him, Wazze. You're flashbanging. No. Yes, Grubbo. Ow. I'm gonna beat your ass now. Rah. Easy. What's with these guys? Why do you side? The other two are bad news. We bought some time. Pull back. Right. That was scary. Ugh, they ran away again. Well, they should have no place left to run. Let's brace ourselves. Wait! Huh, persistent to the bitter end, I'll give you that. Well, these kids were an unforeseen windfall, though. No place to run this time. It's impossible to run away any further than you already have. Surrender and give up. The terrorists with you, too, of course. That's right, surrender! Ugh, indeed. So this is our limit, huh? 
my, my, there's something lacking in you lately. Looks like you're planning to escape again, eh? Plan? Ha! You're still saying that optimistic bullshit, eh? Once the train gets all to your city, you're mine. The Republic's my home turf, see? Once the train stops, I'm out of here. Escape? You're still planning on running this late in the game? Ha! Fine then, listen up. As long as this continent exists, anything can be my escape. As long as you guys are on my heels, you have no hope of catching me. Do you understand now, fools? Yeah! Come at us! So they must be crazy. They're really planning on running to the bitter end. I'm scared this old lady will really go through with it, but... Us two, we can't let them get away. This is an important duty entrusted to the police. <laughs> That's nice. If that's the case, we have no choice but to capture her here. Let's go, everyone. We'll disable them. How many times do I have to tell you? If you guys can really catch me, just go ahead and try! Come on, you guys, get them! Come on, my guy! Whew! We did it! Ugh. Oh, come on. Damn it! I feel a little bad for attacking the old lady. You guys, you won't get away with this. <laughs> what a strong madam. Isn't she way stronger than the terrorists? Yeah, seriously. All right then, Mr. Raven, what should we do with them? That's right. We'll arrive in Altair City soon. I'll contact the Republican Army and hand them over. Well, they all look Republican, so I think that's best. Anyway, let's ask the conductor to contact them for us. That was great work, Crossbell Police. We'll take them into custody. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking care of us for us. Come now, walk briskly. You guys, you'll pay for this, so look forward to it. Hey, no talking. Shut up, you damn piece of shit of a soldier. Treat ladies with more respect. Piece of shit. That's enough. Take her away. What can I say? I really don't want her to show up again. <laughs> Agreed. We intend to deal with... We intend to deal with them to make sure they don't cause any more trouble. At any rate, thank you. Take care on your way back to Crossville. Ah, yes. Thank you very much. The end it turned out like this. I would have liked to arrest her ourselves, though. <laughs> the fact that she was captured hasn't changed, so isn't that all right? I'm just glad we didn't let her get away. Right, right. You really helped me a lot, too. Man, thank goodness. Really, with this, it seems like I'll be able to make an extra portion of Inspector Donovan. <laughs> That's also true. Well, then, shall we head back to Crossbow City? Right, I don't think we should stay too long. But we've come such a long way to the Republic. I wanted to take this opportunity to go sightseeing. Please, leave it for another time. So it's beyond our expectations. Well, we achieved the minimum goal of not letting the remnants get away. For now, let's return to report to Master Kyle. Yeah, you're right. After his and the others waited for the crossbell bound train. After rebuking Raymond, who was reluctant to leave the gift shop, they left the Republic behind. Ooh, that was crazy. I was surprised when I heard you guys went to the Republic. Oh man, to think things turned out like that. <laughs> it was an emergency after all. Well, the fake branch has been caught for now, and everything turned out all right. <laughs> That's right. Well, let's say it turned out fine. Well, then, I have to make a report at the second division. I'll excuse myself here. <laughs> that was good work. Well, you all helped me until the very end. If I'd been alone, I never would have managed to arrest that old lady. Thanks so much for your help today. Don't mention it. Please contact the support section if you ever need our help again. Yeah, I'll be counting on you guys. Got this, got this. Crossroads News Service.
Ah, everyone. I'm terribly sorry, but entering the second floor is restricted to editorial staff only. If you have business there, please speak with me. Oh, uh, sorry, excuse us. Welcome to Crossville News Agency. Oh, you all are in the special support section. Hello, we're here by your support request. You needed help with coverage for your gourmet guide. Haha, <laughs> thanks for coming. Can you start right away? We can. Yes, allow us to accept. Understood. Then, to hear the request details from the person in charge, please wait on the second floor. Hello, hello! My special support section friends. Sorry to keep you waiting. I knew it. You're in charge of this request, Grace. There was a certain probability this would happen. Oh, such a weak reaction. We get to work together again. Can't you be a little happier? <laughs> Last time you had us coming back and forth across all across the world. And what do we need this time? Something about helping with coverage for a gourmet guide, I think it was? Yes, exactly. A while back saying we want to follow the example of Mayor Dieter's energy. I got a suggestion from the Crossville Trade Association. They wanted to cooperate with Crossville News and make a gourmet guide. Cooperate with the Trade Association? What specifically do they want you to do? Basically, they want to introduce the restaurants of Crossville State. In addition to coverage, they're going to offer a discount service. They've got various interesting plans like that in progress. I see. That's unprecedented. Okay, now let's get to the point. Part of the plan is for the individual gourmet recommendations. IBC's Maria Bell, or Arkansas's Lilia, Theodore, and Eugene. <sighs> we want to introduce people to these Crossbell celebrities' favorite dishes, and that's where you guys come in. Hmm, so that's the request this time. That does seem interesting, but is it really okay to put us in a lineup like that? I know, right? I'd be happy to stand shoulder to shoulder with Lilia and Maria Bell, but if we're in your article, I don't think it'll catch much attention. Haha, <laughs> saying, is that a nice way of saying we're spoilers? No, no, nothing of the sort. Lately, you guys have gotten more honest to goodness fans, you know? So much that I want to request your private photos. Give us a break. <laughs> anyway, you guys are attracting attention in your own way. If it, if it wasn't the case, then I'd never have asked for your help with this request in the first place. Alright, I think I get it. So how should we proceed with this specifically? <laughs> Let me explain how to do your coverage. First, you need to go to each restaurant or cart and actually eat their food. Among each of them, I want you to find a dish that makes you think, this is it. After that, I'll have you write your own article here at Crossbell News. So we've got to go to restaurants throughout the state and find dishes that each of us like. But what if we can't find anything? Crossbell is a big place. I'm sure that each of you find at least one dish you like. If you really can't, then I'll just have you write about restaurants you visited. But ideally, I'd like, for you, to, I'd like you to introduce the readers to your favorite dish. So we've got to go to at least six different places. Anything we should watch out for? Let me think. Oh, the bar at Michelin is off limits. I'd like you to cover areas other than that one. Mm, the Trinity downtown is off limits too. Haha. <laughs> I know it's such a good chance to get more business out of us when we said. Sorry, Wazzy. I'll, I'll handle covering that area. Oh, and I've already spoken with all the restaurants, so there's no need to worry about paying for your food. If you explain the situation, they'll show you their sample menu. Anyway, we'll be fine with just if we just visit six stores, bars, etc. Will it be persuasive if we're going to find dishes? Per we'll need to persevere if we're going to find dishes each of us like. <laughs> this isn't a rush job, but please do your best on it. Once you're finished, come report to me here at Crossbell News. If I'm not here for some reason, just ask Tria or Receptor. She'll contact me. Understood. Let's get it started. but worth it. So I don't know how I do the gourmet thing. Yeah, 
East Crossville Highway. Nurse Levi. Where did it say the one East Crossville Highway was? <laughs> Outskirts of Oak Street. Looks like it'd be a boat ship. Guys, not just getting instantly wiped. Our levels should be fine for it. Nope, didn't even see it. That is. I guess I'm gonna see a tank or gate. I don't know what the bullshit to be. Oh.
couple deluxe dumplings, a regular dumpling, and whatever we can do with our primary red. Right? Ma, That sure is a creepy monster. If something like that were to come here, we'd be helpless. Yeah, if that happened, we must evacuate right away. But for now, we'll wait for the CGF to come. Oh, if it isn't Member Lloyd. Long time no see, Branch Manager Selden. We heard that a mysterious large monster, a cryptid, had appeared here. A cryptid, hmm, an expression that fits it perfectly. Yeah, that cryptid or whatever appeared suddenly yesterday evening deep inside the swamp, you see. We contacted the CGF, but... Could it be that your special support section has come to deal with it, Lloyd? Yes, we took the request from the CGF. Could you tell us about the situation in detail? Yes, just like I told you, the first time we noticed it was yesterday evening. Without any warning... At all, we suddenly heard something that sounded like an animal cry. A suspicious shadow flickered in the deep part of the marsh that's always been so long. We all approached it cautiously. Then we spotted that mysterious cryptid or whatever. Then we hastily made a report to the CGF. We thought to run away, but there's no sign the cryptid is moving from that spot. Since yesterday, we've been taking turns watching it and monitoring the situation. That was excellent work. Did you notice anything strange while keeping watch? Well, nothing as strange as the thing itself. Even though we surrounded it from this distance, I feel like it's hostile, but... <clears throat> How to say this? I feel like it's not that it isn't moving, it's that it can't. We don't know the details, but... I see, it suddenly appeared and is rooted the spot, huh? Well, it clearly seems related to that spatial distortion stuff. Yeah, no doubt about it. Then, Branch Manager Selden, I'd like to go inside immediately. Oh, you're going to exterminate it, right? I'll unlock it now. Alright, well, you're all set. We leave the rest to you. Yes, understood. Ah, that's a cryptid, huh? Oh, yep. That's Pleroma grass, too. Like the report said, it's quite huge. Teotot, how about the spatial distortion? Time, space, and mirage? Manifestation of the higher elements confirmed. The cause is unclear at present. I see. So, what do we do? According to the CGF, it seems pretty dangerous. If we're going to eliminate it, let's make sure we're ready. Roger. Uh, handy dandos.
Yeah, as expected, it was strong. And also advanced in a serious way. Tio, how's the spatial distortion? It's no good, the higher elements are still at work. Jeez, what the heck is causing it? It seems the cryptic itself isn't the cause, though. Looks like we need to check the other one, too. Feed the East Crossroad Highway cryptid. As your flowers are blooming. What pretty flowers, they seem to be faintly glowing, though. Yeah, don't screw with them, Lloyd. Oh, Member Lloyd, were you able to exterminate the cryptid? Yes, somehow or other. I think you need to be careful, but I also don't think it will appear again for a while. Seriously, that's good to hear. Now we can devote ourselves to fishing once again. Yeah, this really helps us out. Oh, that's right, Member Lloyd. I didn't tell you, but I'd like to explain the angler duels with the Imperial... F explain about angler duels at the Imperial Fishing Club. Angler duels? I see. Angler duels against the five members of the Imperial Fishing Club. If I win, we'll get back to the office in the occupied fishing spots. And if I lose, we'll be at their mercy, right? Yeah, that's it. Well, for now, we plan to do something about the matches in our own way. Member Lloyd, you're probably busy with your job, so I don't mind if you merely keep them in mind. All right, understood. Oh, right, Lloyd. Could you accept this as thanks? Viking rod. This is a new fishing rod? Yeah, I put it together to oppose the Imperial Fishing Club. If you have this, you should be able to pull in a much larger fish. Peter, you did this? Haha. <laughs> he doesn't look it, but Peter's forte is messing around with duels. Every now and then, he makes a new new fishing gear by mounting off-the-shelf stuff, just like this. <laughs> It's a wonderful story somehow, since it's not all since he's not all that strong at fishing. Stop it, Copen, that was uncalled for. <laughs> really, thanks for giving me such a nice rod. You are now able to challenge Imperial Fishing Club members to angler duels. You can ask the details of the matches from the receptionist asylum at the East Street Imperial Fishing Club.
cave on Ursula Byron. <laughs> You're from the Fisherman's Guild, huh? I'm Sharkman, Sharkman the Sea Edge. Sea, what? It's Sea Edge, Sea Edge, as in the edge of the sea. So you're gonna have a sudden death angle duel with me. Right. Whoops, no, that's not it. There was a condition before that. Despite appearances, they call me the best technician of the Elite Four. To fight me, you'll have to catch the fish called Game Fish. Well, if you want to know the species in detail, ask Asylum in the sea. Understood. Hey, show me your fishing notebook, Dad. The heck is this? You've still got a long way to go. Go ahead and catch all the game fish. I greatly love it once. Alright, so we're getting Sandbank again, huh? It's not up there, because we're not on the sandbank. I think finding this next script is gonna be a bit of a task. <laughs> like, okay, this is clearly the sandbank, isn't it? Like, that's also a sandbank. Ursula Byron Sandbank, a small cave further in the back. I thought I was over here. That's... Just when did this... This wasn't open when we came before, right? Buried entrance open for some reason, huh? And if we go through there, the crypt will be on the other side, correct? Any sign of a spatial distortion? As of yet, I can't say for certain. However, I sense a strange presence. I see. Anyway, we have no choice but to go inside. Alright, top everybody off HP wise. Grab a memory fragment, of course. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Tio, how is the spatial distortion? I confirm manifestation of the higher elements here as well. The cause of this distortion is unknown as well. I knew it. It seems the cryptid itself isn't causing it, though. Lloyd, are we fighting it immediately? Yeah, let's proceed with caution.
です。in the same way. This spatial distortion is still here, isn't it? That's right. It's just... I feel like there's some kind of specific cause. A specific cause? Like what? Well, my senses have been disturbed by the distortion for some time now. Instead, you all may be able to find the cause. Really? Alright, let's search the area. Whatever's causing the spatial distortion is definitely nearby. Roger. Let's search whatever we can get our hands on. Obviously, it's the, the grass here. Flowers. If I remember correctly, they were blooming even in the marshlands of East Crossbell Highway. Yeah, we saw them there, all right. They're very pretty flowers, but I don't think I've ever seen them before. I wonder what they're called. I think it's unlikely, but maybe it's worth a try. Lloyd? What, you're picking these flowers? Yeah, though I feel a little sorry for them. What? This is... Ugh. That was... It's almost like the air was shaking. Teo, how's the spatial distortion? Presence of the higher elements have disappeared. I can't sense any disturbances in this entire area any longer. Is that so? Wait a sec. You're telling me those azure flowers are causing the anomaly? Well, that must be it. Though I can't think these tiny flowers have that kind of power. Unbelievable. What kind of flowers are these? I don't sense a strange presence from those flowers any longer, but for now, perhaps we should have them investigated somewhere? Right. It's probably a bit of a different field than the medical college specializes in. Anyway, let's hang on to them so we don't lose them. If we come by, if we come up with any idea about them, we'll have them investigated, okay? Yeah, let's. Hmm. Wazi, do you have an idea? Well, maybe. It's a faint memory of mine. I feel like there's a legend about a mysterious azure flower in the church testaments. What? Hey now, for real? Well, I feel like I saw it when I skimmed them a long time ago, but any ideas, Ellie? As you might imagine, I haven't read through the entire testaments, but... Indeed, I feel like I read such a passage. A legend of an azure flower with mysterious powers. That's... Bingo, isn't it? it? Seems there's value in confirming it with the church official, at least. You're right. Let's try asking Miss Marble or Reese about it. Yes, either of them would be qualified, I think. Alright then, let's head to Crossbell Cathedral. Or, let's call it for now. Until next time, everybody, it's been Ark Noah playing Trails to Azure.